Hey guys, it's Jeff from Everything Plants. Welcome back to another video. Today I'm gonna to show you how to propagate a plant in a Ziploc bag. Okay, let's start off with what you need. A set of clean sterile pruning shears, Ziploc bag, a straw, I'll get to that in a second. Obviously a water source, I'm gonna use this spray bottle, of course the plant, and I'm gonna be uh, propagating in perlite today. I've been trialing this as a new method of uh, making some new plants, so let's uh, get into it. Okay, so the first thing I did is fill up my propagation bag here with about a quarter of perlite and now I'm going to kind of pre-soak this. So I'm just going to take my spray bottle and just wet down the perlite. I'm going to fill up water just so that maybe a little bit um, is kind of collected at the bottom. I want all the perlite to be soaked, but not enough that it's just sitting in water. So if you have to, just kind of mix it up. You can already see it's kind of sticking together. Almost like a paste. And add a little bit more water just so it gets to the bottom. You can shake it up. You can, actually I'm gonna seal it up and just kind of mix it up here a little bit. I don't know if you can see it or not, but uh, there is just a slight pooling of water at the bottom. That's the way I'm gonna keep it. That way it provides a little bit extra humidity and moisture um, so this perlite doesn't dry out when you're doing your propagations. Now I'm gonna take a cutting off my Hoya fungi or fungi. So I'm just gonna find a spot just close to a leaf node and I'm simply just going to snip it off. So I have a portion of the stem like this. Now I hope this bag is large enough because these leaves are pretty, pretty big. So you're simply just going to put the cutting in the bag and push the stem just down in the propagation medium slightly just so it's covered. Come on, get in there. Just something like that. So you wanna try and keep the leaves off of the propagation medium as it is damp or moist. This could potentially lead to uh, leaf rot. Trust me, I've done it. Uh, so yeah, just make sure that as best as you can, just keep it off. And I'm simply going to uh, seal up the bag now. And I'm going to leave the end portion slightly open. So not only is it important for the leaves not to touch the propagation medium, but it's also important for the, I guess, sides of the bag to not touch the leaves as well, as best as you can. It's going to obviously touch the leaves, but um, once you seal up the bag, it's gonna kind of keep in that humidity and moisture. So again, you're just trying to prevent uh, leaf rot, I guess. So this is where the little straw comes in handy. So in the corner of the bag, just stick it in, come on. Uh, seal the rest of the bag, make sure there is no openings, and simply just blow in the corner. And then pinch it off. And you got a nice little pillow dome of propagation. Um, I will let the air out every couple days and kind of reseal it again, just so it gets some nice fresh air. But this is, uh, I don't know, I think it's cool. A little squishy, little squishy biodome of propagation. So I'm going to set mine aside in a bright sunny area upstairs and hopefully in about a month or so I will get uh, enough roots that I can either start a new pot or I can put it in this one uh, just to help it fill it out a little bit more and make a fuller pot of plants. I can't take credit for all the little tips and tricks like the straw and that sort of thing. It's just uh, some things I've uh, found over the last little while doing some research about uh, bag propagations. Also some uh, other comments on uh, some of my videos have helped me kind of tweak my uh, bag propagation uh, techniques, I guess. So that's gonna be pretty much it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any comments or questions, let me know down below in the comment section. If you have some other tips or tricks about uh, propagating plants in Ziploc bags, again, please leave that down below. Otherwise, thanks again for watching this video. I appreciate all the support. Thanks, take care everyone, bye.